Hi everyone, I'm Jackie. Welcome to Healing Moments with Spirit. And today we are going to talk about a technique to help your mind detox the energy that it's processing during the day. This is a technique that my guides taught me about seven years ago. The reason I started to implement it was because I was feeling very depleted I was working in Texas. I had my own studio teaching yoga, doing healing sessions, clearing sessions, uh, detox foot baths, and I was working every day. Like I loved my job, loved my job. It was the best, best job in the world. And I just never took a break. I actually worked for seven years and never took a real break. And I wasn't connecting with nature in the way that I was fueling from it. And so I started to feel really depleted. I kind of looked like the walking dead and I ended up with like black circles all the way around my eyes. Kind of looked like a raccoon. <laughs> and uh, I found out that that's actually a pretty common trait for healers uh, because of the way that our body is processing energy and especially if um, the, al the alignment of the chakras is out of balance, then you start to get darkness around your eyes. And so, so uh, when I moved to Alaska, one of the first things that my main guide told me was this technique. And she goes, you need to do this every single day. And she ended up having me adapt doing it, you know, creating a pattern every single night after I would get out of the shower. And to this day, here we are seven years later, I still do it every single day. And she will come in and remind me every single night because of its importance. Well, this is interesting because I was watching a show about some neuroscientists and they were talking about how every single day your brain needs to detox the energy that it's processing through the neurons, through the synapses and all of that. And it takes between seven and nine hours to detox that. Well, that's a lot of time. And if and if in fact that happens to be part of the reason why my guides started teaching me seven years ago to do this technique then it all started to make sense to me because if you think about it what your mind your brain is taking in energetically on a daily basis is a ton of information and information is energy right so the technique that you're going to learn from me today is, is aligning the chakras and pushing the energy that no longer serves you out of your eyes, your sinuses, your ears, your mouth, every part of your being. And, and, then, and then refueling you back up with nature, okay? I highly encourage you, if you do feel depleted, if you feel like you're not getting enough fuel from nature, if you do develop a lot of dark circles around your eyes, then I hope you'll try this technique. Now, today, while I do it, I'm going to show you how it's done. And if you want to take notes, do that, but also go back and watch it again and do it for yourself. All right. And like I said, it's something I do every single day and it has made a huge difference in my life. See, I mean, like my eyes, I still get the black, like right in the very corners, but it doesn't go all the way around anymore, which is wonderful. All right, here's the technique process. They have, my guide has me take my thumb and middle finger and my index finger. A lot of us healers, there's a lot of energy that comes out through your fingers, through your hands, so you can utilize that. You're gonna place the thumb and middle finger at the bottom base of your eyes. The index fingers are gonna touch the eyelid, so you'll look like this, okay? That is the position that you're gonna hold, and then I'm gonna walk you through what you say to yourself. Now remember, your body hears everything you're thinking. None of this is literal, it's all symbolic. And because energetically, it processes it as long as you believe it. Okay, so this is what you're gonna to think to yourself. You're gonna imagine 
back and your hands are on your eyes. You're going to imagine that you could spread wings out of your back, just like if you were becoming a bird or a dragon. And as those wings come out, you're going to fly up from the tailbone up through the chakras. And you can either count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or you can imagine flying up through red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple. And then once you reach the top, you're gonna say light in, dark out, light in, dark out, light in, dark out. Asking your own higher self and creation with source energy to remove all darkness that no longer serves you, everything that your eyes took in that day, everything that your ears took in that day. Removing darkness from the ears, inner ears, inner ear canals, through the sinuses, the sinus cavities. Darkness out of your mouth, your teeth, your gums, your jaw. Darkness out of every gland in your body. Darkness out of every particle, every cell, tissue, muscle, bone, out of every organ, and out of every chakra. Light in, dark out, light in, dark out, light in, dark out. Pulling the darkness out, shrinking the darkness down into a ball that you can hold. Pulling the darkness out, shrinking it down into a ball that you can hold. Gathering it all together. And as you pull that ball together now, you're going to imagine cracking it open to reveal the light within and then asking that to process back to love. Purple, pink, and gold are the colors it processes through. Processing all darkness back to love. Light in, dark out, light in, dark out, light in, dark out. And now begin to breathe in Mother Earth. Breathing in the sun. Breathing in the blue sky, the green trees, the green grass. Beautiful colored flowers. Breathing in Mother Earth. Breathing in nature. Pulling it into all those voided spaces, breathing it in, breathing it through you, up through each chakra, out the crown of your head, circling it around, right back up through the tailbone, draw it all the way back up the chakra system again. Mother Earth breathing in, breathing in nature, breathing in, circles around, it comes back up, back up through the chakra system again. beautiful and then when you're ready you can open up your eyes okay all right so it's a very easy technique here's the thing you can take as short or as long of a time to do this technique as you like those of you that are very sensitive to energy those of you that are healers or empaths it's very common that you're going to be feeling your body process this as you're doing it. And if that's the case, you may spend a little bit longer breathing. Remember the breath is the mover, the processor of the energy, okay? So you may be breathing longer as you're doing, pulling the darkness out of the eyes, maybe out of your ears, maybe out of your mouth, your jaw. Maybe it's just out of the cells and muscles of your body. Maybe it's through the chakras or the organs that you're feeling it. But again, take as long um, as you feel intuitively to do. All right. Sometimes I don't really spend a lot of time out around public. And so I can actually do a real quick one that night because I didn't really receive a lot of energy. My guides do tell me that 
those of you that are like first responders, that you've got really intense jobs that are traumatic and dramatic, those are the ones that are more apt to really be pulling in things visually, um, audio, uh, auditory wise, maybe breathing in or tasting things that are that are not in alignment with your highest good. And so if that's the case, you may, again, you may really find this beneficial. My guides, like I said, have me do it every single day. And honestly, I'm telling you guys the truth. I don't teach anything that I don't do myself. I mean, I've gone through some immense trials and tribulations since 2012 in, er in order to learn these techniques that I sh that I teach people I love doing it because you guys you need to be able to help yourselves it is we aren't able to carry a pocket medium around or a pocket healer around or a pocket channel or a pocket portal around that is not what we're meant to do we can learn how to do these techniques ourselves so that when this stuff comes up because it's a daily thing especially in now now's time we're doing this ascension we got energy processing with us around us for us on a regular basis so for you to be able to utilize these techniques that's what i'm here to do to show you how to do this and I get excited when people want to. I'm like, here, I'm bringing it all to the table. Who wants to join me at the table? Who wants to learn? I have so much to teach, so much. So many concepts, so many tools and techniques that are out there that Archangel Metatron and Archangel Gabriel have given me, and I wanna share it with you. Do you wanna learn? We're starting with this one because this one is the essence of bringing nature in to fuel you so that you can get rid of that stuff that your mind has to take seven to nine hours at night to process. Maybe we can shorten that time by doing this every single day. I don't know. What do you think? All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, until Thursday when we have Spirit World Insights. <sighs> have a good day. All right. Take care. Bye.